Jersey because it's like Chris Christie in the bridge. And I just want to just put this chain one filter on as your actor. And and you get to you're talking about you're talking about how the Wolverine movie would be cool. We just saw Spider-Man. Sam Raimi's Spider-Man and Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 2 are like the Godfather and Godfather 2 of superhero movies. And then we got The Godfather 3, the Sofia Coppola version. It's unwatchable. There is nothing good in that movie. That's James, not true. James Franco with the emo yucky face and he's a skateboarding green goblin and a wedding ring and Peter Parker delivering pizzas on a moat. What the I want, fuck? I want you all to look deep in your hearts and answer this question. Which movie have you watched more? Spider-Man 3 or X-Men Origins Wolverine? I think most of you would say I that you've watched Spider-Man 3. Here's what, the, but here's the thing. Spider-Man 3 was ill-fated from the beginning. Sam Raimi didn't want to put three villains in. The movie studio said, yes, you have to put three villains in. Do you know what Sam Raimi could have done? Since he's a bazillionaire, he could have said, no. So that's even more of a sellout. Sam Raimi's a great director who made this horrible movie. X-Men Origins Wolverine, they got some guy from South Africa who's like, oh, sure, whatever. Oh, you want Deadpool to sew his mouth shut? Duh. Exactly, so I have a worse director, so I'm glad that you gave me that point, Mark. Secondly, <laughs> uh, secondly, I just, it's about potential. It's like, yes, yeah, Spider-Man 2 was a great movie. Spider-Man 3 was not so great of a movie, but it made a lot of money. It was, I think... Oh, because making money makes things perfect, because Avatar I'm saying was this so great, movie, right? <laughs> this movie wasn't even good enough to make a lot of money. It completely crippled the Wolverine solo film, so much so that they did a completely different Wolverine movie that didn't quite work, but in a different way. Now they're going into the future. I'm saying they had a franchise set up, and they had Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman as the lead of this franchise. The most charismatic guy that's come to movies, him and Robert Downey Jr., are the two best superhero castings, I think, ever. And the fact that you're going to give him his own franchise, you're going to finally give Wolverine his own movie. And what do you do with that movie? Oh, let's explain how... Oh, he got his coat. Oh, where did the name Wolverine come from? Let's tell a fable for five minutes on screen. Let's show him being a lumberjack. It's everything you didn't ever want to see Wolverine do on screen. At least Tony McGuire put on the Spider-Man suit and ran around on some webs for a while.